Hello and welcome back to AP Psychology here on Educator.com. This particular lesson we're going to be looking at behavior genetics, evolutionary psychology, and behavior. Behavioral genetics, this is from the AP uh, instruction guide. Uh, the objective is to look at psychology's abiding interest in how heredity, environment, and evolution work together to shape behavior. And what influences do our genetics have on our behavior, both as individuals as well as groups. So those are our overall overarching objectives for this particular unit. Nature versus nurture, the big question in psychology. Nature refers to heredity a person's biological makeup, and so we're talking about their genetics. Nurture refers to their environment, so a person's life experiences, family, education, uh, their school life, etc., etc. So nature, biological, nurture, environmental. Heredity. In developmental psychology, it's the study of progressive changes in behavior and abilities. And when we get to that unit, you'll see exactly what those changes are from a social, a cognitive, a moral perspective, as well as physical perspective. And then heredity, the nature, is the transmission of physical and psychological characteristics from parents to their children through genes. DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, one of those fun scientific terms I love saying over and over. And that's going to be the molecular structure shaped like a, like a double helix that contains coded genetic information. And you've got your active genes that are expressed versus inactive genes that may not be expressed or maybe are dormant and are expressed later on in, per, in a person's life. Another term is genome the entirety of an organism's heredity information. And that includes information encoded in both the DNA and the RNA. So when we're looking at the, the genome, one of the things that they've been working on is mapping the entire human genome. What does every gene say? What does every protein say uh, in those particular, uh, in that particular set of DNA that we as humans have? Genes. Not just what you wear on casual Friday, but genes that are specific strand areas on a strand of DNA that carry hereditary information. There are dominant genes where they will appear each time a gene is present and recessive genes where that feature will appear only if it's paired with another recessive gene. And I've got a nice little diagram to show you how that works coming up in a few slides. Genetic makeup. DNA, again, it's the means by which heredity characteristics pass from one generation to the next. It's the means where the parents, the mother and the father, biologically pass along traits to their children. Fraternal twins, they are dizygotic. So you break that into two. You've got the di, meaning two, and the zygotic, meaning zygotes, so two zygotes. So those are twins that develop from two separate sperm and two separate eggs. So they do not have identical DNA. Unlike identical twins, they're monozygotic twins, and they develop from the union of the same egg and sperm, but they split. And so the egg and the sperm split, and so you've got one egg, and then it splits off into two. So you've got two that are going on there, and then so it, it's a split, and so that one essentially goes away. But the key thing is that they have the same genotype. So they have the same genetic structure, but not necessarily the same number of copies of those genes. So that's one of the reasons why you will find differences in the physical appearance of identical twins.